Hi, Ben here from Life Science Centre. So like many people at the moment, I am also working from home. But that got me thinking that this is a great opportunity to try out a few things that you could do at home yourself. And one thing that I've loved seeing at the moment is everybody's windows filled with lots of rainbows. Rainbows to bring joy and hope in this time. So that got me thinking, how can I create some sort of sciency rainbow? Well, I don't have a lab, but what I do have is a kitchen. Come with me. On second thoughts, let me just get tidied up a little bit in here first. Oh, right, I'm ready, come on in. To make this science rainbow, you are going to need three cups, some salt, some food colouring, red, yellow and blue, a tall vase or tall glass, a jug of warm water and a second jug, although you can reuse the first if you want. In one of your cups, add four spoons of salt. And in another cup, just add two spoons of salt. In the third cup, we're not going to add any salt. The cup with four spoons of salt is going to be your blue. So add blue food colour into this one. The cup with two spoons of salt is going to be your yellow. So we're going to add some yellow food colour into that. And the one without any salt in is going to be your red. When you're pouring, make sure that you're pouring it at an angle down the side of the glass so that the salty water trickles down the side. This will make sure that the next layer floats on top. Water with different amounts of salt in has different densities. The more salt that water has in, the more dense it is. It's a bit like with oil and water. You have the same amount of oil and the same amount of water, but the water weighs more. That's why oil floats on top of water. Well, fresh water floats on top of salty water. And water that's only a little bit salty will float on top of salty water. And now my rainbow is ready to go in my window. So hopefully, when people walk past my window and see my different kind of rainbow, they'll stop and they'll think, hmm, I wonder how he did that. I'd love to see if you have a go of making your own science rainbows. If you do, upload any pictures and videos in the comments below.